Okay, this is number two, or number eight from 2.3. Let me just calculate this two. And it says use cylindrical shells to find the volume of the solid generated by rotating the curve y equals the uh, eight natural log of x about the x-axis for x being between one and e. So it helps to draw a picture, at least helps me to draw a picture just to see what's going on. So this graph y equals eight natural log of x looks something like this where this crossing point is at one. And over here we can call that E and draw a little dashed line. So it's this region that's going around the X axis. And so this is the shells method. So imagine the like, circumference that builds out from the very center all the way out. And that's what this is uh, talking about. Um, con uh, con not, not consequently, but let's also look at these are the X values. What are the Y values? y equals 8 natural log of 1, which is 8 times 0, which is 0. And y equals 8 natural log of e is 8 times 1, which is 8. So it's going from 0 to 8 here on the y. And so the way the shell method works, if it's, if it's going around the x-axis, then we would be integrating with respect to y. And which is a key point here and we're going to need that in just a few minutes when we get to the integration that's set up um, our formula that we're going with is the volume would be 2 pi times the integral and they call it from c to d in the book to indicate uh, on the y-axis um, p of y h of y dy and unless there's a gap, like there's no gap here from the x-axis up to the shape, so our p of y is just going to be y. But coming up with the h of y is going to be the, the struggle. And so in this, I shouldn't say struggle, but just the challenge that we have to deal with. In doing this type, we want to come up with a, um, a rectangle that is parallel to the rotation. So in the previous section, when we're doing the disk method and washer method you know we're doing the slices this one uh the shells like i said it's like it's building out from like the inner core on out and i like to think of this as like the nesting dolls or if you ever see measuring cups that stack within each other like how it builds in from the small to the, the large so um let's look at what this function would be uh, what this the height of this would be uh, this side gives us an E, it's just, that's just E, and this side over here is our 8 natural log of X. Now we need to put this in terms of Y though, that's the, the hard part. So let me go back to blue. If we said that Y equals 8 natural log of X, we want to solve for X. Solve for, yeah, solve for X, so we put it in terms of Y. And I'll divide by 8, so y over 8 equals the natural log of x, and then if I say that's going to be e to the y over 8 is e to the natural log of x, that cancels, you ever just go by the definition to, uh, that x equals e to the y over 8. So we could also write this as e to the y divided by 8. So now we come up with our h of y, that's going to be e on the high end minus e to the y divided by 8. And then the um, this width of this is going to be just dy or delta y, so that's our dy. So we have our integral, uh, sorry, 2 pi times the integral from 0 to 8, I'm looking at the y values of y times e minus e to the y divided by 8 dy. And there's our integral set up. Like you could throw that into like Desmos and it'll spit out the answer. Uh, I'll do a little bit of the um, leg work here. So that's going to be 2 pi integral from 0 to 8 of e times y minus y e to the y over 8 dy. The first part is pretty easy to integrate. It's just going to be, don't forget our 2 pi. 
e to the y squared over 2 then minus the next part um, a couple different integration techniques you can look up tables whatever so that's going to be 8 e to the y divided by 8 times y minus 8 and we evaluate this from 0 to 8 and this is where we get the 144.4191305961 and that's it so I know the, the hard part about this is coming up with the different parts again because it's going around the x-axis we integrate with respect to y because, and we find that rectangle that's parallel to the x-axis and so that has to be in terms of y on the left side sorry on the right side it was a constant on the left side it was a, a non-constant function and um, well, we can set that up i hope that helps with any other problems like this